Hey guys, this is Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a few coin shops in Ohio. Uh, should you visit them? Should you not? We'll also be talking about what we picked up from them, but let's get this video started. I wanted to take a moment to thank you guys for all the prayers, the well wishes. Um, some of you guys even donated to Corey and his medical expenses, but now they are actually funeral expenses. Uh, it, it was very tough to hear um, that he didn't make it on Sunday, but we know that God's still good. Uh, God's still delivering on his promises, and uh, we're just so thankful to be a part of a great community like this one. Um, but we ended up going to a few shops like I told you guys, and we wanted to give you guys an honest take about each one. Uh, the first shop that we went to was Carrot Coins. Uh, Carrot Coins is in Cleveland, a little bit about an hour away from us. Uh, but they, uh, Maroon, which is the guy that kind of runs the shop, he's a really funny guy. He has a great sense of humor. Um, a few things about the shop, it's a very positive atmosphere. You're never gonna hear anybody talking about bad things or, or you know, talking about beating, you know, being mean to somebody or anything like that. I think that's great. Um, he's nice to every customer that comes in. Um, the staff wants to help you. Like if you have a collection or if you just have a coin you want to share with them just for them to give an opinion on, they're always willing to do that as well. Uh, they had great conversations in there and I was laughing because they were laughing. I mean, I just really liked it. If I had to work at a, a shop around here, it might have been Carrot Coin. But, uh, you know, it's just a decent old timey shop. Maroon, like I said, was a really good guy. And he had an associate there, I forgot his name, but there was also a, a few collections that came in while I was in the shop, which was cool. And I got to see them working with each person, treating them with respect and honesty. And I listened to the prices that they gave off for these things. And I was like, wow, that's most, that's more or the most I've heard any shop offer in this area. And so um, just really tremendous place. Um, the question is, would I go back to them? Uh, I would, and I'm going to show you guys some coins here in a moment, but I just really like the atmosphere, even if I didn't wasn't able to buy a coin. Uh, I would rate this shop 7.9 out of 10. Really do like it a lot, but let's talk a little bit about what we picked up. A few cool things here. Uh, this is an 1883 uh, Indian Princess gold dollar. Uh, it's, it's graded MS64 by NGC. Uh, I'm going to add some more photos just for you guys to have a better look at it. But uh, the cool thing about this and the reason why I picked this coin up is because it has a mintage of 10,800. And most of the time when you're working with gold pieces, I try to aim for coins that are more on the better date side rather than the almost bullion side, if that makes sense. So when you talk about $20 gold pieces or when you talk about gold dollars and there's a quarter of a million or a million or a few million pieces made for a certain coin, a lot of collectors are either going to have them or there's not going to be the demand that we expect. And so when you buy one that's 10,800 pieces made, it becomes a little bit more of an easier market to be able to sell it and move it quicker than the ones that have more of a high mintage. And so I like the way that this coin was struck. I like the luster on the coin. It's pretty flashy. And so can't go wrong with that. Really do like it a lot. Uh, the other coin I want to talk about is this 1867 two cent piece. It's great MS64 red brown by PCGS. Uh, most of the time when you run into certain coins, it's either on the edge of brown or it's on it's really nice and red looking. But I felt like this two cent piece really had a great difference between the red and brown. And I like the coloration on the coin and I also like the eye appeal of the coin. Uh, sadly, we don't have it here to show you, but we do have some additional photos because someone picked it up as soon as I posted it which is pretty cool. Uh, the next coin I want to show you guys, which is kind of a big ticket item here. This is a 1797 uh, half cent. It's graded VF25 by PCGS. Interesting true views. It's a C2 plain edge. So I guess it's just a, a centered two a variety. Uh, just an expensive coin for sure. Don't see a lot of these that often. And so they ended up pulling a few out. A lot of them are details grade just because of the road that they carried on and this one was actually straight grade which is cool uh, this one I don't know what to price it at really I mean the 
there's not been a whole lot of comps with the C2 plain edge. And so, I don't know. It was just something I wanted to take a shot in the dark on. Maybe I can find an awesome collector for it. But that's Carrot Coin. Let's move on to the next shop. The next shop I want to talk to you guys about is Cleveland Coin. Um, it's right down the shop from Carrot Coin, I think about 12, 13 miles. And so we wanted to stop in there and see what they had. Uh, it, the cool thing about the shop was it has an old time feel to a coin shop. Um, it's kind of got stuff everywhere and it kind of kind of wraps everybody together and it's almost like an interest shop sometimes. There's not a whole lot of inventory there, which was kind of unfortunate. A lot of these shops, I guess, have to go to eBay to sell some of their items just because they might not get as much floor traffic as the bigger shops. And so Cleveland Coin didn't, like I said, didn't have too much to offer, but they did have some, some decent coins here. Um, and so, you know, it might be a downside for me that they sell it on eBay, but for them, it's just something that they need to do to keep their doors open. So in some sense, it's a, it's a con for us, but a pro for them. Um, would I go back to their shop? I would, you know, uh, I like Carrot Coin a lot. I like Maroon and his staff. And so if they're not a, if they're a short distance away, I'm going to visit Cleveland Coin also. If I had to drive an hour just to go to Cleveland Coin, I don't think I would. But like I said, there's a lot of nice shops really close together. Um, I would rate this shop 5.8 out of 10. Uh, it's just it's just an average shop. It's just something that if you go there weekly, you might find some great stuff. If you go there, um, sometimes you might not find great stuff. And so uh, it's really cool to see um, one of these coins that came to the shop there. This is a 1946 double die reverse uh, walking liberty half the cool thing about this coin is that on the uh, reverse e pluribus unum is doubled and so i think population is around 500 in all grades for this coin at pcgs and when you're moving into mint state grades you have to pay over a thousand dollars and so i didn't really want to buy one that would be mint state really I, if I was going to buy one, it would be one like this because it's pretty inexpensive for a collector that wants a double die reverse. And so one like this is under $250, which I don't think is too bad. Um, the coin overall doesn't have any distracting you know, marks or scratches. Uh, it's just a really nice circulated coin. And so I'm definitely happy we picked this one up. There is a, like I said, there is a big spread between AU and MS. And so Definitely cool, affordable piece. Don't see them too often. So we showed up on the right day at Cleveland Coin. A few other honorable mentions here. We have uh, two seated half dollars. Pretty circulated. I would say they're fine, very fine um, grade. But when we post these on our shop, they sell pretty quickly just because people want them for their sets and they don't want to spend too much money. And finding ones that, you know, have minimal issues like these ones are pretty good and when you're looking for au and ms coins they're not going to hop pop up that often unless you go to every show and wait on the right one so definitely some cool coins here i like holding these in hand they have their story and thing that they want to tell and so uh, that is cleveland coin uh, but we wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what we picked up from ohio estates which is in parma if you guys missed that episode of us reviewing their coin shop, please click the link below and you'll be able to watch it after this one. Uh, they had some great coins for us also. We posted these on the website a few days ago and a lot of them have sold, but I wanted to tell you guys about the ones that we end up still having. So we picked up a 20 cent piece here and an 1836 cap bust half, both pretty original. Um, no, like I said, I, I wanna find coins that aren't detail coins that are raw because it's a lot easier to market them, sell them. And when people hold them in hand, like I said, they get an honest view of history and what happened to the coin. Most of these weren't cleaned. They didn't have any, uh, you know, no one dug out a, a part of the detail or hold any of them. And so uh, happy to pick these up. Want to offer a unique variety on our coin shop. And, you know, we can't buy everything that's graded. We got to buy some raw stuff because there are people out there that want to fill their albums or they just want them to, like I said, hold in hand. Two other coins we want to talk about is uh, this 1928S uh, piece dollar. The reason why I picked this one up is because overall, it's a pretty blast white and attractive coin. It does have a lot of uh, marks on the obverse of the coin. 
on the reverse, it's pretty mark free. And you know, if, if the coin has the eye appeal that it needs, it's not dark or dingy, then I normally try to pick it up. And so pretty unique, uh, not really actually pretty unique, but uh, it's just a better date and can't go wrong with those. The last one uh, that I have in hand is this 1904 Proof V nickel, graded Proof 62 by NGC. It's got some spotting on the coin, but I don't see a lot of these being offered in auctions very often. So I wanted to pick this one up and offer it to you guys because if someone is looking for a 1904, then we give them that option. And uh, I do think it's a really beautiful coin. Uh, another coin that we got from them, which came right out of a, it's like a double mint set, which is kind of like a cardboard and, and what, what was the word for it, Casey? Parchment. Kind of parchment paper, double mint set. If you look at this 1952S Franklin, it really had some awesome color on the obverse of the coin. And uh, the reverse was pretty nice as well, has a little crescent. But that one ended up selling so quickly that I couldn't post it on the website or show you guys in hand. But I do hope you guys enjoy looking at it on this video. But that's going to be all for today. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts on coin shop reviews. Do you guys enjoy them? What coin shop have you visited recently? And subscribe for more videos because we're coming out with them every single week. And we hope you have a great week.